Looks a little small for me, but I like the style. <laughs> What do we got? We have a jacket worn by Keith Richards during the Graham Parsons tribute concert back in 2004, uh, Return to Sin City. The Keith Richards. The Keith Richards. Keith Richards, Rolling Stones. OK, what a life. I mean, I just have this theory that Keith Richards is going to live forever. Agreed. Yeah, he's got some secret sauce. Yeah. Because we all know he should have died 25 times. <laughs> I'm here at the pawn shop today looking to sell my jacket worn by Keith Richards. A friend of mine was working for a charter company that flew the stones around, and Keith left this jacket on the plane. They tried to get it back to him. Management just said, hey, hold on to it. So she came to me and said the Graham Parsons tribute concert was for charity. So she said, hey, if we can sell it, let's, uh, let's donate it to charity. I'm hoping to get $17.50 for the Keith Richards jacket. I think it's really cool. Keith Richards, an amazing guitar player. He grew up in England, actually went to elementary school with Mick Jagger. Hmm. They both ended up moving, and right around, I think, 17, 18 years old, they ran into each other on a train platform. They started talking. Next thing you know, they start a band, and uh, they are still going strong. All right, so we got tags, but they're very, very worn. Um, but that could have been from the whole dying process. We have one label here that's missing. We have washing instructions, but nothing that says Keith Richards. Unfortunately not. Because all I'm seeing here is a sports jacket that's really cool tie-dye, but doesn't fit me. <laughs> <laughs> How would you want for it? Looking to get $17.50 for it. All right, I'm intrigued. I'd like to call him my like rock guy to take a look at it. He's the number one guy in the industry. Hopefully he knows something about this jacket, and uh, we'll go from there. Sounds good. All right, I'll be right back. Warwick will definitely give me some satisfaction on this. What was the concert? Graham Parsons Tribute Concert. I was there. OK. Yeah. What were you buying? I actually ended up getting a guitar signed by all of the cast of the Tribute Concert. OK. So the concert was uh, a tribute to the late, great Graham Parsons. The reason that Keith Richards was the headliner, take you back in time to the band The Birds, OK. Graham Parsons joined the birds. In doing so, he brought country music into rock and roll. The birds did a world tour. They were supposed to go to South Africa. Now, somebody told Graham Parsons it wasn't a good place to go because of apartheid, and we really shouldn't be supporting that. So he took that excuse to go and hang out in the south of France with Keith Richards at the mansion where they were writing Exile on Main Street. And uh, uh, famously, Graham Parsons taught Keith Richards country licks. And he's supposed to be responsible for songs like uh, Wild Horses. All right. So that's why he was the headliner at the Graham Parsons tribute show. OK. Um, is this the jacket? Uh, take a look. <sighs> It's very nice quality. We can tell that right away, and it's so that's the sort of thing you'd expect Keith Richard to pull off the peg for a, a special concert. The only person who could pull off those outfits is a rock star, so they don't make two of them, do they? We could go through uh, plenty of photographs. It's dip dyed, so it's going to be very easy to show all the little variations in this. So you definitely believe this is Keith Richard's jacket? Oh, absolutely. Okay, so. The big question, why I always call you down here, mm -hmm. how much is it worth? Uh, I think that's pretty easy to say, because I bought stuff from the same show. I would say at an auction price on that would be $3,500. OK, that's, that sounds good. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it. All right, good luck. Have a good one, man. Um, sounds like you're asking right around the right price. OK. I can do your $1,750. Let's do it. I'll meet you right over there. We'll do some paperwork and get you paid. Awesome. Thanks. You can't always get what you want, but I just did. <laughs> Rick, how does the buttons work? Sometimes, never, always, or something? No, no, no. Sometimes, always, never. That's where the buttons go. OK. I've been pounding my head trying to figure out how I can generate more online sales. So I came up with the idea of doing a live online auction. Chum's taking the pictures. I'm entering everything online. Apparently, this internet thing, it's not a fad after all. <laughs> all right, already got the description in. Stage-worn Keith Richards jacket, own a piece of rock and roll history. Auction is scheduled, all right. This is not as hard as I thought. I immersed myself for a few days in how to do this whole internet thing. It seems to be working. 
What are you guys doing? Listing stuff for a live auction. What do you mean, live auction? Gold Silver Pawn Shop is doing its first live auction on our Shopify website. And you were able to do all this? That is correct. You can teach an old dog new tricks, right? I've been figuring this out. It's not that hard. It was like less than a month ago, you couldn't send a text message. I've always been able to send a text message. It's the talk to text thingy. All you have to do is talk, but it still doesn't work. Sounds like operator error. All right, um, well, sounds like you guys kind of got it covered. I'll go back to the shop. Yeah, I think we got it covered, Big Hoss. Yeah, go back to your low-tech job. We'll take care of the high-tech stuff. This is pretty easy.